Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video lecture, I will discuss about a priori algorithm. So let's get started. The a priori algorithm uses the frequent item set to generate the association rule. So this is basically our hota hai ki jo a priori jo humare pas data hai, usko ham use karke frequently jo items hote hain generate karte hain association rule ko, okay? And it is designed to work on the database that contains transactions. So with the help of this association rule, it determines how strongly or how weakly two objects are connected. So इसकी हेल्प से हम यह पता लगा सकते हैं यह डिटरमाइन करते हैं कि दो ऑब्जेक्ट है या फिर दो वेरिएबल्स है वह किस तरह से एक दूसरे के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है स्ट्रांगली है या फिर वीकली है ओके दिस एल्गोरिथम यूजेस अ ब्रीथ फर्स्ट सर्च एंड हैस्टी टू कैलकुलेट द एंड आइटम सेट एसोसिएशन इफिशिएंटली इट इज द इटरेटिव प्रोसेस फॉर फाइंडिंग द फ्रीक्वेंट आइटम सेट फ्रॉम द लार्ज डेटा सेट नाउ स्टेप 4 ए प्रियोरी एल्गोरिथम सो फर्स्ट इज determine the support of item sets in the transactional database and select the minimum support and confidence and second hota uh, take all support in the transaction with the highest support value then the minimum or selected support value step 3 find all the rule of this subset that have higher confidence value than the threshold or minimum confidence now fourth is sort the rule as the decreasing order of lift so now discuss about the advantage of a priori algorithm so first is this is easy to understand algorithm second is the join and uh, clone step of the algorithm can be easily implemented on the large data set now disadvantage is the a priori algorithm works slow compared to the other algor algorithm and the overall performance can be reduced as it scans the database for multiple times and the time complexity and space complexity of the a priori algorithm is order of 2 power d uh, which is very high here d is represent the horizontal width per in the database so thank you so much for watching this video